Today I'm going to show you how I flipped a $1,000 account into $30,000 within 24 hours. The strategy itself is actually quite simple and I'll be honest with you. If you follow this strategy, there's a good chance you're not going to make money long term. This strategy I developed specifically for flipping an account. This strategy will probably work best during news event days, days where the market is moving extremely fast. If you're trading during a day where the market is consolidating or the market is just stagnant, it's not really going to work that well. So the market needs to be moving fast and preferably the market needs to be trending in a certain direction. So before I show you the strategy, let's check out the video of me actually flipping it live on my Instagram. I let my feelings take control. Guess I let my demons take the wheel. Used to think that we be wrong. I can't believe that it was real. It was back in late December when I did it. I just wish I could forget. Cause I had a much I love it all right. I just love to catch a feel. Yeah. I've been wasting my time. I don't know why I can't get you out of my mind. Pretty cool, right? Now I would show you the MyFX book, but unfortunately the broker I was using at the time of making that video, I was using MetaTrader 4 and that broker no longer supports MetaTrader 4. And this is actually a common occurrence that offshore brokers are starting to happen now. It's just jurisdictional things. I wish I could show you the account. I wish I could show you the MyFX book. So this is the only piece of evidence that I have is this video. But if you were following me at the time on my Instagram page when I did this, I was posting those updates you saw it happen live in front of your eyes. So let's hop over to my computer and I'll show you exactly what strategy I was using in order to flip this account in a short period of time. Okay, so here we are on TradingView and right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on this right here. This does not involve closed candles. This involves the current candle being open. So you have to pay attention to it live the whole time. And this can technically be applied to any time frame, but it works best on higher time frames. Anything from the 15 minute all the way up to the one hour. I saw best results between the 30 minute time frame and the one hour time frame. So right now I am on the one hour time frame for US 30. Now this technically also works for any trading pair in the world. It doesn't matter if you're trading on a Forex pair, indice, crypto stock, commodity, you could be trading anything and everything and it's going to work. Uh, but of course, like I mentioned, it works best during a fast moving market and if the market's trending. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at the previous candle. So let's pretend this candle is the current open candle and this is the previous candle. In this case, the previous candle was bullish. So the current open candle, we want to see that candle turn bullish. But before it turns bullish, we need it to fall at least halfway of the candle. So right here, here's the candle. Here's the body. That's what I meant to say, the body. It fell halfway of this body. Then once it fell halfway, it pushed back up. Once it pushes back up and turns bullish, that is when we get into the buy position. And then as you can see, it did a huge run up after that. So that is pretty much the concept of it. So here's another example right here. Previous candles bullish. Let's assume this was a current open candle. It, at first, you see the wick down here at the bottom. Hopefully my crosshairs aren't in the way, but you see that green wick. That means initially it was a bearish candle. It initially pushed down, it was bearish and it pushed down at least halfway of the previous candle. Once it pushed back up and turned bullish, that's when you get into a buy. And that, as you can see, you got in pretty much a sniper entry right here and it kept riding all the way up. So that's pretty much all I'm doing. I am doing that both up and down. Uh, again, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this is not designed for a long-term trading strategy. This is something I came up with for flipping an account. So all I did was I followed something really simple that I came up with. There is no fancy thing involved. I didn't really use a moving average for trends. I, I didn't do much with it. All I did was I looked to see, okay, previous candle bullish. If I see that the current open candle falls halfway, uh, or you can make it 30% if you want, 10%, 30%, 50% of the previous candle's body. I did, hey, if it falls 50% and then it pushes up and turns bullish, I'm gonna buy. And vice versa for a sell. If the previous candle is a bearish candle, then all you are doing is waiting for the current open candle to move up 50% of the previous candle's body, 
once it pushes down and turns bearish, you get into a sell. That was it. And if you actually wanna see it, you can go back to my video and dissect it. Okay, so here's the video, let's check it out. Okay, right here. Can you see that right there? You see, you see the wick, the previous candle was bearish. The current open candle moved up at least halfway of the previous candle. Once it fell down, I was trying to sell here, but I didn't see it in time. I think I was in the bathroom, I was eating, I was doing something. Actually, no, I actually got a better entry right there. I think I jumped the gun. I jumped the gun on that one. I got in too soon. I should have waited for it to get down here and turn bearish, but the market was moving so fast. I just kind of had a feeling that it was gonna keep falling. So I got in early. So anyways, uh, let's keep playing. You'll see the other setups. Okay, look at this one. Oh wait, I need to go back. Oop. There we go. So you can see right here, well, this bar's in the way. So you're looking at the current open candle, previous candles bullish. So we're looking to only get into a buy position. The candle, the current open candle fell down at least halfway of the previous candle's body. Once it pushed up and turned bullish, I got into a buy position. So once I saw it fell halfway, pushed up and turned bullish, you get into a buy position and then your entry ends up being a sniper entry. Congratulations. And that was it. And I'm pretty much using a really big lot size for the account. Every single trade I placed, I was willing to risk the entire account. Now, that's obviously bad if you're using money that you cannot afford to lose, but that's why we are only trading with money that we can afford to lose. Uh, there's this guy in the UFC, his name is Dana White. And he said that his strategy when he goes to the casino is he bets big all the time. He's always betting big and he just cashes out. And he even said, and there are people that work at casinos that say they hate people like that because those are the people that are officially beating the casino. The longer you sit at a casino and keep betting, you're guaranteed to lose everything if you, the longer you sit there. But the people that go in, bet big and withdraw, those are the people that always make their money. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have a few times where you lose you know, your bet and you're gonna have to start over again, but generally they tend to come out on top compared to the average person because they're betting big because most people are not willing to bet big. Most people are afraid to lose money. The thing here is that I'm not afraid to lose money at all. I'm not afraid. Even back then when I was in debt, when I had no money, I always had the mentality that I'm never afraid to lose money, even if I had no money. And here I am today. So I can tell you for certain that the Dana White strategy of bet big, it pretty much works, but I, I cannot, cannot condone it. Right? I cannot condone always betting big. Uh, there are times when you obviously need to use good risk management, but for the sake of flipping an account, you have to be willing to go all in pretty much every time. And uh, that's how I do it. There you go. See, you just see the trade pushing up higher and higher. Yeah, that right there. So that was within a 24 hour time span. So I don't know. you can see right there the day tab. So within one day, I made a $20,000 profit starting with a $5,000 account. I can't get you out of my mind. And you see it says a deposit of 10 grand just because uh, trading, withdrawing, trading, withdrawing. So that's why uh, total 10K. But for the sake of that video, I started with five grand. So that right there was another another setup. You get to see it in action right here. Did you see that lot size? Okay, so at the time, you know, trading on a broker where one micro lot, so 0 0.01 is equivalent to a dollar profit or loss per dollar movement in price. So if I buy US 30 with one micro lot and US 30 moves up by $100 in price, I just made $100. So that right there, three mini lots, means I am going to make or lose $30 per $1 movement in price. So if US 30 moves up by $100 and I did a buy position with three mini lots, uh, what's 100 times 30, right? <laughs> That's $3,000. So you can see right here, both of these positions were up more than a $100 movement in price. Uh, so yeah, that right there officially turned five grand into 30 grand. What you didn't see in the video was me closing the trades, but I eventually closed those trades. So uh, yeah, that was a really fun time. That was a really fun time. So I hope this video was informative. I hope you got a good understanding of what it is exactly I did. Uh, I hope you take this strategy and improve upon it yourself. If you want to throw in moving averages, if you want to do whatever you want, I, I don't care. Do, do whatever you want. I just want to show it to you. And I really do hope it helps.
Uh, my goal here is not to tell you what to do. I'm just showing you what I did and feel free to grab the strategy, run wild with it, improve it, throw in other indicators to it, and let me know what you come up with. So that's it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.